Tributes from across the worlds of military and politics are flowing for retired Major General and Liberal Senator Jim Molan, who has died aged 72 after a battle with cancer. Live now to ask our news political reporter Joel Field. Joel, take us through what people are saying today about the former soldier and, and senator. Well, Ash, the opposition leader Peter Dutton has just held a press conference which was solely dedicated to reflecting on the life of Jim Molan, saying that he will be remembered as a great soldier, as the former chief of operations during coalition years in the Middle East, and also won a variety of distinguished medals. Uh, Peter Dutton said that the Liberal Party is grieving today, and he sent out his condolences to the late Jim's partner and his children and grandchildren. It's just his tenacity, his decency. He was a very honourable person. Uh, you could take him at his word. Uh, and he was a great gentleman as well. Uh, he was somebody who really went out of his way to help people. And I think Australians really appreciate that quality. Uh, he was a fine human being. Uh, he'll be deeply missed. And uh, his passing is a sorry, sorry day for our country. And New South Wales Treasurer Matt Keane also offered his condolences today. Uh, Jim served our country as a soldier, uh, as an MP, as a volunteer and as a mentor and I want to pass on my deepest sympathies to his family today. Now when it comes to that other sphere of Jim's life, the military, James Brown, the former NR RSL New South Wales club president, has reflected on the kind of person he was during his service. Well, he was very much a general's general. He was a blunt instrument. He was someone you sent to get the mission done. And, you know, there was that view that he was the general you wanted in the glass cabinet to break in time of war. He was focused absolutely on Australia's security. He did that in a number of different roles, in his role in Iraq, in his role in the Indonesia crisis in, in, in 1999. He played a key role there, and it, and it wasn't so much as... Uh, the blunt general that was as a softly spoken diplomat. Jim Molan was a man who never shied away from giving his opinion on any subject and he used his military expertise in his career in politics to shape the political debate. A man who made his mark in the military and in the capital, Jim Molan joined the army after school for a long career. He was an infantryman, a helicopter pilot rising to the rank of major general. He served in Papua New Guinea, Indonesia and Iraq. Democracy in both concept and practice has been a significant part of my career and my life, perhaps more so than for many Australians. As a soldier, amazingly enough, I've accompanied five countries down their road to democracy. Mr Molan became a senator in 2017 at the age of 67. Predictably, he made defence and military issues a key focus of his political career. While in office, he released a book, Danger on Our Doorstep, warning that war in the Indo-Pacific involving China was closer than most people might think. To deter war, you must be strong. And if you, if you are weak, you're merely inviting trouble. And at the moment, we are weak and we've got to become strong. And used his expertise to weigh in on international conflicts, believing the willpower of the Ukrainian people was a threat to the Russian president. I can only hope that uh, someone moves on President Putin. Either his mates knock him off uh, or he, he, he goes somewhere. He was diagnosed with an aggressive form of cancer in April 2021. Last November, speaking to his daughter, Sky News host Erin Molan, about his treatment. First question I need to ask is, how are you? Chemo is interesting because it gives you a, 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 the first week and a bit you get side effects and then for the last week and a bit you, uh, you feel quite human. So I had it yesterday and I still feel quite human today. But I thought, I thought, and I haven't been on the media, I've been staying very low. My priority at the moment is to try and get better. The 72-year-old's condition deteriorated significantly after Christmas and he passed away on Monday, his family releasing this statement. He was many things, a soldier, a pilot, an author, a volunteer firefighter and a senator. Most of all, he was an adored husband, father, grandfather and brother. Our loss is immeasurable, but we are comforted in our memories of a full life courageously lived, devoted to family and in service of the country he loved. The Prime Minister tweeting, Jim Molan lived his life in service of our country. He was a man of principle and a politician of conviction. 
My condolences to his loved ones, colleagues and friends. Opposition leader Peter Dutton issuing a statement saying, whether it was on the battlefield, in the political arena or on the media stage, Jim was admired for his discernment, leadership and unfailingly courteous manner. The Liberal Party will choose someone to fill his place for the remainder of his term. Joel Philp, Sky News, Canberra.